Hi, I'm Johannes Frey, but you can simply call me Joe and I've been working as a software engineer for more than 15 years and I switched to data science and data engineering about 4 years ago and I'm here to share a few little things that I picked up along the way with you. So today let's talk about the receptive field in computer vision. Back when I started to learn about such things, I couldn't really find nice explanations for those things and so I had a hard time grasping it and to really get what is meant by the receptive field. And so here is my take on this. So let's talk first about how images are actually processed in machine learning. Since machine learning algorithms need some sort of numbers, right, to do their magic. So you can think of an image as a matrix of pixels. And in case of a, a black and white image, those uh, pixels have values between 0 and 255. Yeah, 255. And it's 256 different states. Um, those are basically the gray values or the gray level of the pixels. So when you think about this matrix, then you already have your numbers, right? But how does now, uh, for example, a convolutional neural network work? So you have to take this matrix of pixels with their uh, values, for example, for a grayscale, 0 to 255, as I already said, and you take your convolution. And a convolution might have the size 3 by 3. And then this convolution is basically scanning the image um, with a drive that you can also define and only taking into account the pixels that are covered under this convolution. This convolution only sees that part of the image. And then usually you also have some sort of uh, pooling layer, maybe max pooling, to then further condense the image for the next layer. So this is basically done to make images more uh, easy to handle, since there are quite some uh, pixels in, uh, let's say, 2000 by 2000 pixel image, right? And we need to make them somewhat more easy to handle. And this is where the convolutions and the pooling comes in, because each layer condenses the image further down. That being said, what is it then with the uh, receptive field? Well, basically the receptive field is the portion of um, the image that a convolution is able to see. So in the original image, it's those three by three um, field that um, the convolution sees when it scans the image basically, right? How is it then even possible that some people say that uh, the receptive field widens or gets more narrow? Because as I said, each layer condenses the original image down to a, to a more compressed representation. And so basically the next layer, which might also be a 3x3 three three convolution, now does not only see the 3x3 three three portion of the original image, but it sees a 3x3 three three portion of a condensed image or of a condensed version of the original image, which basically covers a wider area of the original image, if that makes any sense. It is also why some people say that the first layers of a convolutional network only see things like edges and strokes and things like that that don't need much context information. And the deeper you go down, the wider the receptive field gets and the more context each and every convolution is able to see and actually to learn. And with that being said, you need to also uh, take the receptive field into account when you design your convolutional neural network to ensure that you are able to capture all the context information that you need. For example, if you try to locate or predict bigger objects or uh, objects that are uh, only occurring into, in a specific context, then it might be helpful to have a receptive field that is big enough to actually capture uh, the object as a whole and the context it is in. I will also link a paper down in the description that gets into much more detail on that topic of receptive field. So maybe you can also check that out. That's basically it for this nice short little video about the receptive field in computer vision. I hope you liked it. I hope you got some value out of it. If so, it would be super awesome if you could go completely crazy on that uh, like button and yeah, also leave maybe a comment down below and tell me whether you liked that video. Thank you very much and see you in the next one.